Okay, now that we've downloaded our data and downloaded uh, the shapefile, it's time for us now to launch up ArcMap. So I'm just going to launch up ArcMap again by going to the Start menu. And I've launched it so many times, it's just located here. But I can go here and type ArcMap, and it'll be one of the programs that show up in the search. Go ahead and click that and launch that. Once la uh, ArcMap launches, we're going to go ahead and explore the data that we got by adding it in. So let's go ahead and hit Add Data. Go to our connection to our uh, desktop under folder connections. I have a connection directly to my desktop. Um, you should be working off of H drive also. So, and then I have my lab one folder. And there you see I have my shape file. And again, if we look at back over here at the actual folder in Windows Explorer, it looks a lot different because here all these uh, associated files to the shape file are joined into one file. Let's go ahead and hit add. There's a few things that I want to do. I want to verify this data. So um, you can see here vi visually it looks good. But you also want to verify that the, that the projection files came in through. So if you right click your layer and you go into the layer properties. Here if you click on source, you can see information about your data. And you can see here that geographic coordinate system, it has it as NAD83. So this is North American data 1983, unprojected. So this is good. If here it says unknown, you're gonna have to start thinking about defining projection, which you can go through the geoprocessing tools, search for tools, and then type define, and you'll find define projection. Here is where you can overwrite the coordinate system that was there. If it said unknown, um, you might wanna overwrite it with NAT83 or NAT27. Again, you're gonna find that projection information in the metadata. You can actually tell that this is unprojected data because of the way Texas looks is kind of squished. And we're going to go through in another video later uh, how to do projection, how to reproject on the fly. Um, once you're happy with with this, verified that the data is good, and you go and open the attribute tables and look in here and just make sure you have some data uh, information in here, like what the census tracts names were and so forth. You're going to want to save your document. So if you do file, save as, you're going to be able to save your document. I'm going to go ahead and save it in that same folder that I was working off of on the desktop called lab one. Now here I'll just name it lab one. And I'm going to hit save. Another thing to do uh, to think about whenever you save documents in folders, um, one thing that can make your life a lot easier, especially if you decide to move this folder, Lab One folder, to other places on the network or in your thumb drives or whatever, is to go to Map Document Properties. And under Map Document Properties, check this box here, Store Relative Path Names to Data Sources. So again, your ArcMap document isn't saving the shape file in it, it's just shaving, saving links to the shape file. So it's just saving where this shape file is and how are you displaying it and so forth. If for some reason this shape file isn't here anymore, this ArcMap document won't see it anymore. And one thing that it does is it stores full path names. And if you're storing full path names, if you move it to a thumb drive, you're not going to be able to to open it and find it instantly. So if you click relative path names, it's going to store it relative to the ArcMap document. You can see here's my ArcMap document, and now that path name is going to say, oh, the shapefile should be in the same folder. This will allow me now to take this whole Lab 1 folder and copy it to a thumb drive or to a, a burn it on a CD and then send it to someone else. Once you're good, just hit OK, and then File Save. 